Next, I will discuss about common, common diseases, common diseases in humans, common diseases in humans, common diseases in humans. So, the common diseases in humans are Typhoid, pneumonia, oscariasis, amoebiasis, filariasis, and elephantiasis. These are the important common diseases in humans. These are the important common diseases in humans. So, typhoid, pneumonia, amoebiasis, Ascariasis and then elephantiasis. These are the important and common cold. These are the important diseases in humans. These are the important diseases, common important diseases in humans. First, typhoid. First one is typhoid. First one. So, typhoid pathogen. First point, take down. Pathogen. We know that. What is a pathogen? Pathogen means it's an organism, microorganism, which causes the disease called pathogen. We know all that. So typhoid is caused by typhoid is caused by a pathogen is called salmonella type. Salmonella type.
fecal gland, fecal or feces. Feces of infected person. Feces of infant or stool. Feces or stool of infected person. See, generally the pathogen or bacteria, salmonella type, cancer, house flies from stool of infected person. And it is present in salt, small intestine. Salmonella type. Generally, stay or lives in small windows. Next, and the salmonella type causes lesions. Lesions means wounds. Salmonella type causes lesions in intestinal wall. In intestinal wall. In intestinal wall. Now, that will be for that too. Can cause lesions in the intestinal wall. See this. So, pathogen, there is mode of transmission. Next, symptoms. What are the symptoms of typhoid? See? Symptoms of the typhoid. The symptoms of the typhoid occurs one or two weeks after the infection. Second, the most important symptom of typhoid is persistent fever. Persistent fever. Most important symptom is persistent fever. About 40 degrees centigrade or 104 Fahrenheit. Degree Fahrenheit. Degree Fahrenheit. The most important symptom of typhoid is persistent fever. About 40 degrees centigrade or 104 degree Fahrenheit. And then the early symptoms. The early symptoms. The early symptoms. Early symptoms is for early symptoms. Early symptoms are a Intestinal cases, intestinal 
perforations. Interstellar perforations or this. Interstellar perforations. Perforations means hole, a small hole, small hole, formation of small hole in the intestine. Interstellar perforations means formation of small hole in the intestine. So, small hole formation in, in the intestine, it leads to leakage of intestinal contents. Intestinal contents of the leakage. Leakage of intestinal contents takes place. It leads to death. It leads to death of the person or patient. This is called intestinal perforations. Perforations means formation of small holes in the intestine. Through these holes, the intestinal content is leak to outside. As a result, the individual or the person undergo that. These are the important so symptoms of typhoid. So the symptoms occurs one or two weeks after infection. The important symptom is persistent even about 40 degree centigrade or 104 degree Fahrenheit. Then early infections like headache, weakness, tiredness, and loss of appetite. And in severe cases, it leads to enlargement of liver and skin. Enlargement swelling of important organs liver and skin. And last one, in severe cases, the formation of intestinal perforations. So, formation of smalls, as a result of this, the intestinal contents are leaked, and finally, the individual is dead. So, this is about typhoid. Typhoid is also called enteric fever. It's caused by salmonella. Next, the typhoid is diagnosed, very important. The typhoid is diagnosed. Diagnosed. The typhoid is diagnosed. The typhoid is diagnosed by a test called Wyden test. Wyden test. Wyden test. Important. The typhoid test is diagnosed by Wyden test. Then the typhoid. The typhoid. is called as typhoid called now typhoid is called as typhoid man now now typhoid is called typhoid man because Mary Melon Mary Melon Mary Melon she was the first healthy carrier. She was the first healthy carrier. She was the healthy carrier of typhoid. Healthy carrier of typhoid in United States. In United States. So typhoid now. Typhoid is caught now. Typhoid is called typhoid man because Mary Melon she was a healthy carrier of typhoid fever in United States. Mary Menon was a cook by profession. Mary Menon was a cook by a profession and she was spread continuously the typhoid fever in United States through the food through the food she prepared she prepared that's why the typhoid is called typhoid man pure 
typhoid is called as typhoid Mary because Mary Venom. She was a healthy carrier of typhoid fever in United States. So because Mary Venom professionally by cook, then Mary Venom spread continuously the typhoid fever, the food prepared by she. So the cook, so Mary Venom, so she was a cook by profession and she prepared the food through the food. The typhoid is continuously so spread in United States. We are proficient, took by profession, and the typhoid fever is transported through the food from Mary Venom prepared. The food is prepared by the food is prepared from the Mary Venom, and she continuously transfer the typhoid. We are which the test, wider test, is used to diagnose the typhoid fever. So, typhoid cause to agent, mode of transmission, mode of transmission, and then, so, mode of transmission, and then symptoms, the test, which test is used for diagnose the wider test, and why typhoid is called typhoid man. So typhoid Mary, because Mary Melon, she was a healthy carrier of typhoid in United States. Professionally, she was a cook and she spread continuously the typhoid fever so through the food she prepared. Clear? So next one. Pneumonia. Next common disease. In man. Next common disease in man beans is pneumonia. Second one. Pneumonia. Second one is pneumonia. Pathogen. We know pathogen means the organism which cause disease. The organism which cause disease is called that. The pathogen which causes pneumonia is called Streptococcus pneumoniae. Streptococcus pneumoniae. Streptococcus pneumoniae. Ah. And Streptococcus pneumoniae and Hemophilus influenza. Hemophilus influenza. Pneumonia is caused by a pathogen called Streptococcus pneumonia or Hemophilus influenza causes pneumonia. So, next point mode of transmission. Mode of transmission. Mode of transmission. Mode of transmission. So, typhoid is transmitted by contaminated food and water. But the pneumonia is transferred by transfer by the droplets transfer by or spread through droplets of aerosols. Aerosols. Droplets or aerosols of infected person of infected with infected person released from the infected person see the pathogenics streptococcus pneumonia or hemophilus influenza is transferred or spread from one person to another person by droplets or aerosols released from the infected person so this is the mode of infection. Second one, the pathogen is also transmitted by utensils. Utensils and glasses. 
So, 
basically or primarily pneumonia is infection of lungs then the alveoli present in the lungs developed pus that is formation of pus formation of the pus or fluid in the alveoli as a result of this the fluid or the pus developed in the alveoli there is no exchange of gases at us there is no exchange of gases at us so as a result of this the oxygen the sufficient or adequate amount of oxygen is not supplied to our tissue cells clear that's why lips and nail beds becomes blue coloration clear blue coloration of the lips and nail beds are because of insufficient supply of oxygen to our tissue cells because in the alveoli the fluid are persistent as a result there is no exchange of gases then it leads to so blue coloration of the lips and nail beds clear this is about pneumonia then causative organism mode of transmission and symptoms next another important common disease from man is any voices next one any voices third one any biosis any biosis any biosis is also called amoebic descent amoebic descent amoebic descent amoebic descent any biosis is called amoebic descent the pathogen the pathogen it causes any biosis is entamoebic is so difficult and
and this cyst of transmitted by or carried by houseflies with infected person's stool or fecal matter. This fecal matter or stool is the source from which the houseflies can carry the infection. Next, symptoms. Next, symptoms. First one, constipation. Constipation. Stomach pain. Stomach pain. Next, stool meat. Stool meat. Excess mucus. Excess mucus. And blood clots. Blood clots. These are the two important symptoms of uh, anemic dysentery, anemiosis. So constipation, stomach pain, stored with mucus and blood clots. This is anemiosis. 